Now it's time to take a break from learning and put together a quick app to apply the concepts we've just learned. We're going to go ahead and do this inside of our funky unit converter. So I'm going to go ahead and close my console. I'm also going to go ahead and remove the NSLog statements I previously wrote. Uh, and I'm also going to go ahead and go over to my storyboard. And the reason I remove my NSLog statements are we just want to focus only on what's going on in our view. I'll go ahead and put them into the project that you'll be able to download. Um, but for now, we're going to focus on updating our storyboard and using some of the integer and float elements that we've learned about uh, in our previous lessons. So let's go ahead and first make sure that we have the iPhone 4 sim 4 inch simulator selected. Uh, from our top area over here and that's because our screen defaults the iPhone 4 or Retina 4 inch screen uh, and that's what we're going to be use, using going forward because uh, based on the iPhone 5s and 5c uh, this is the size screen that Apple is going to be moving more and more towards in the future. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add some view objects to uh, our storyboard view right here and we're going to go ahead and add First, we're going to add a label to our project. So we drag it into the upper left-hand corner here. I can add a text field. And I'm going to go ahead and move that kind of to the middle here. And I'm going to go ahead and add a button. So we're going to go ahead and drag that in. I'm going to center this up. And I'm going to go ahead and add one more label. And one of these labels will make static and the other one will make dynamic. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this to the middle. And I'm going to change my left labels text. And we're going to say number of football fields. And I'm also going to have to go ahead and adjust the size of this font, make this smaller so it fits nicely. I want to make it too small. I can move my other label or I can actually shrink it in this case so they fit nicely next to each other. And I'm also going to go into my text field and add placeholder text. And I'm going to write uh, insert number of bills here. Or let's say write number of bills here. So we see that now we have our four uh, UI elements set up properly. And I want to go ahead now and hook everything up. So holding down the Alt key, I'm going to press on ccviewcontroller.h so I can bring up the related header file or the view controller that manages this view. And I can drag this a little bit to the right so I have a little bit more space so I can see my full view here. And I'm going to first hook up my label. So I, using holding down the Control key, I can drag from my label into my header file and we're going to make sure that it's an outlet and we're going to give it the name number of bills label notice that we're using camel case I'm going to give it the type UI label and the storage type is going to be strong and I can go ahead and press connect next I'm going to hook up my text field so I get, can uh, select it and control drag to my header file and I can name this uh, number of bills text field and I'm actually going to update one more element on my view here. So I'm going to double click into my button and we're going to say convert value. And I'm going to go ahead and recenter this again. And I'm also going to hold down the control key and drag from my button into my header file. And we're going to call this method convert units. Now, before I hit connect, I'm going to make sure that my connection type is an action because when I press my button, I want some action to occur. Uh, my type, I can make it a UI button, and the event type, which is how my button reacts to touches, is going to be touch up inside, and its argument can be sender. So I can go ahead and press connect. And we see here that for, we have IB outlets for our view objects, where we're just updating and gathering information from our view. And we have an IB action for when I tap on my button, I want a certain action or set of logic to occur. So great, we have everything properly hooked up. And you might be saying, well, what are we gonna do with all of these different view objects? What is the end goal here? Well, imagine if you were filthy rich and stacked dollars on top of themselves. How many football fields would that stretch to? 
we're going to convert dollars to football fields. So just a little background here. Each bill is one millimeter in height, and a football field's uh, length is 91.44 meters. And not to bore you with math too much, but the conversion is 91,440 bills per football field. So we're going to convert the number of bills and we're going to divide that by 91,440, which is the number of bills it takes to reach the length of a football field. And we're going to display this information on our number of bills label.